here in unity, standing for our civil, civil liberties. Together we are a strong force, divided we fall. We are on the right side of history, folks. I'm so happy that one day I will be able to tell my children that I was there. I
You know how it went. Two more weeks. Then a month. And then move the goal past once again. Now, now looking back, now looking back, I feel as if they always knew we were not going to get out of lockdown. I really started to miss my friends and family and just the social camaraderie. I found myself feeling so down and depressed. But this was time to stop the spread, so it made you feel selfish for wanting to socialize again. Authorities and the media always talked and talked and talked about how in order to flatten the curve, we just need to stay the blazing home. And all of this for coronavirus with a 99 plus percent recovery rate. In school, the vaccine is pushed as a good, unselfish thing to do. I hear a lot that this is not about our freedoms and rights. This is about doing the right thing for society as a whole. And if you don't agree, you're selfish and a big part of the problem. Do you understand the pressure us youth face? We can't question anything or else we're made out to be stupid and misinformed, uneducated even. Our integrity and character is smeared and shamed by the teachers and fellow classmates who have got the vaccine. I think most youth who feel the way I feel are silent out of fear. The fear of being singled out and humiliated in front of their peers. They don't want to be a part of this drama. They just want to get through the day and go home. Some are emotionally strong enough to resist the attacks and will receive to stop the pain. And I'm here to say this is about our freedom of rights. Because if this path continues, we will have them. No emergency is able to suspend our freedoms and rights. The government and the media is doing everything to convince the people that this is all about the fear of the pandemic. Everyone should want to do the right thing. If you're unvaccinated, you can't go out and see a movie with your friends. If you're unvaccinated, you can't dine in a restaurant with your family. If you're unvaccinated, you can't play sports with your teammates. If you're unvaccinated, you can't go to university. If you are unvaccinated, you are seen as the problem. When faced with too much pressure, people cave, especially children. They just want to fit in. By definition, manipulation means to manipulate and use the devious means to control or otherwise influence others to one's advantage. This is manipulation. Not only are our youth facing it, but everyone else is too. For most professions, employees are told that they will have till the end of this month to show their proofs of vaccination or they end up without a job and unpaid leave, all because of their choice and all because of discrimination. Many families are only left to wonder how they are going to provide for themselves and only to wonder what comes next. My mom is one that will lose her job at the end of this month after 23 years of dedication and reliability. She phoned her medical plan and asked if she were to take the shot and had any adverse events, would her plan cover her medical treatments? They told her, your plan is it, no extras for anything. So then she called her workers comp and asked if she would be covered if her work made her take the shot and she had a reaction that made her unable to work. Would she be covered as work injury? They told her, well, if it happens at work, then there's a the fact that the hospital would have to admit it's from the vaccine. She even told her boss and asked if she would be obligated by at least guilt to help. He said no. So once again, knowing this, they won't accept your rights to choose. It's just get it or else you lose your job. It makes no sense for doctors, nurses, and first responders to be okay for the first two years to treat this mess, but now they are at risk and dumped by the very people that called us heroes. From my personal experiences, due to my status as an unvaccinated student, I have faced bullying, harassment, and discrimination from not just my family and friends, but my own school. I have been told by multiple teachers that I don't have a choice. I choose to be selfish. 
I have lost friendships and respect from the people all because they, we did not share the same views and that I was considered problematic. The media and our educators are influencing our young minds and telling them that this is all okay, when reality it is far from. For every child that faces discrimination or bullying, for every child that is sad because of what is happening, for every child that has lost friends and don't have peers to turn to, you don't need those people. You don't need them in your life and it is okay to let them go. Look at, look at all the people around you here today. Look at this new community of friends. This is what, this is what you need. All, look at all these people beside you and standing with you. People who do care about you and your future. You don't have to worry anymore because we will all be there for you. I will be your voice at the Premier's office. <laughs>